Welcome back everyone. We continue to follow breaking news right now. A major computer outage is impacting businesses across the country. So we're talking about banks, corporations, airlines, and not only here in the U.S., but this is having a global impact all around the world. And we have team coverage for you this morning. Kim Hudson, she'll be joining us in just a moment with a look at how it's infecting businesses and organizations in the Philadelphia region. But first, Jan Carabeo, she has been live at Philadelphia International Airport all morning where Jan already dozens of flights have been canceled. And that number continues to grow. Jim and Janelle, good morning. A lot of confusion and anxiety here at Philadelphia International Airport this morning as these travelers wonder when or even if their flights will get off the ground today. Take a look behind me. We are in the check-in area for a number of airlines here at PHL, including United, Delta, and Spirit. Most of the people you see behind us have to do with Delta. Delta Airlines asked for their flights to be paused as they worked out their communications issues issues related to this outage, they have not come back online just yet. So we do have employees walking up and down with information about rebooking. They are checking people in, checking their bags in and sending them to the gate, hoping that everything will come online and they will be able to get their flights out. Some updates, though, when it comes to American and United. At 5 o'clock this morning, American came back online, and United now says it is working on a full fix. In the meantime, some of their flights have resumed as well. So there is a bit of progress, but there are clearly a lot of cancellations and a lot of delays. And some disappointed people leaving the airport today, including one family from Narberth that was hoping to go to San Francisco when their flight got canceled early this morning. Take a listen. We arrived thinking we were going to have an easy, quick early morning flight, and turns out there's some Microsoft power outage that has grounded flights, and ours was canceled. So we're going to have to figure out this getting over the Golden Gate Bridge at some point. At some point, but not today, they went home to regroup and rebook. We're taking a look at the boards here, and if you're taking a close look, you're going to wonder why you see the wrong times up there. Well, that's because those boards have not rebooted since one o'clock this morning. So clearly a lot of systems have yet to reboot and come back online. So I spoke to a Philadelphia International Airport spokesperson who says it is very important to stay in touch with your carrier to check the flight status update because this is an ever changing situation and you want to stay on top of it as well. Jimmy Chanel, back into you. All right, you feel for those people out there, Jan, because it's going to be a long Friday for them, for sure. All right, Jan Carabay live at PHL for us this morning. Thank you, Jan. Now we're going to turn things over to Kim Hudson in our newsroom. So, Kim, this outage, as we've been talking about, affecting businesses and also services in our region, and you've been checking in with some of them this morning. That's right, Janelle. In our area, this is affecting grocery stores and police and fire departments. We even found Amtrak passengers in limbo. Customers tell us they have been able to reserve tickets, However, one customer, Ernest Lattimore, says he still found some trouble paying for his train fare. Well, they said um, the system went down, so they, they, they're, not, they're not accepting any cash payments. Um, however, they did give me, I do have a ticket. Um, it, it just seems a little snag egg. Lattimore says he was supposed to take a 4.45 a.m. train to Virginia. Now he won't leave until this afternoon. We also reached out to Wegmans Food Markets. They tell us the Wi-Fi is down and they cannot track deliveries or inventory. We checked with Acme grocery stores as well. They tell us their Pennsylvania lottery machines are down. We even checked with Philadelphia police and fire departments. Officials tell us they are seeing internet and email issues. However, they are able to respond to emergency calls. As for Philadelphia city government, all systems are operational. Its IT team is working on issues right now and all employees are expected to report to work work as scheduled. We will continue to make calls and find how this global issue affects you as you go about your day.